A jury will be chosen tomorrow in the murder trial of Michael Bever. Bever is charged with murdering his parents and three siblings in Broken Arrow in 2015. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright spent the day in court where attorneys asked potential jurors about everything from homeschooling to whether they believe what they see on social media. Lori? Yes, Craig, there were lots of questions. So several of the jurors, when they had filled out their questionnaires, had said that if a person is found guilty of first degree murder, the only punishment they could consider would be life without parole. Well, the attorneys had to remind them that that's not what the law says. The law says in this case, you have to consider all possible punishments, which means life or life without parole. So that was one of the big discussions today. Attorneys ask about bullying and if anyone had ever tried to impress a bully and if people who are homeschooled, are they considered behind the curve in life? Prosecutors brought up the movie Ocean's Eleven, where of course, as you'll remember, several people planned a big casino heist. And then they asked the jurors, do you think everybody who planned that crime, whether they participated or had a different job should be held equally accountable. Now, the judge warned jurors, look, trial is not like what you see on TV where someone can say to the court reporter, can you read back that last line of testimony? Or can you take a transcript back into the jury room when you deliberate? She said that's why it's really important that they pick jurors who will listen and remember and pay attention and even take notes. So, of course, the goal of all these questions, and believe me, some of them can get kind of personal, is to make sure that both sides are finding 12 people who can promise to be fair and objective to both sides and just decide this case on the evidence they see in court. So once they pick a jury tomorrow, then hopefully we'll start hearing from witnesses. Lori Fulbright, News on 6.